What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and in our ongoing series highlighting each of LA's 15 city council districts, today I want to talk about CD6, which includes seven proud communities that form the heart of the valley and also happen to be where I grew up. This is some of the most fun, historical, and important elements of the 818, so let's get into it. So Council District 6 includes Arlita, Lake Balboa, North Hollywood, North Hills, Panorama City, Van Nuys, and Sun Valley. Some underappreciated areas that have played a significant part in LA's growth. We start in Van Nuys City Hall, which is probably the Valley's most recognizable building. It was built in 1933, opening to much fanfare on Van Nuys Boulevard, which is where the LA pastime of cruising really took hold. Besides being one of the Valley's most important streets, Van Nuys Boulevard was also patterned after Paseo de la Reforma in Mexico City. You can head northeast from Van Nuys and go back to the future, literally. The McFly household from Back to the Future was based in Arlita, and the home is a tourist magnet to this day. Arlita was originally part of Pacoima, and the area that is now Arlita was actually one of the last rural communities in Los Angeles. However, as the post-war industrial era ramped up, Arlita became a strong working class community, and it still is today. Heading over to Panorama City, this was San Fernando Valley's first planned community, developing in 1948 by Henry Kaiser of Kaiser Permanente, who's credited with fostering the modern American healthcare system. Hmm. Today, Panorama City is home to the LA Kings Valley Ice Center, the King's home away from home, and a great asset in the sometimes smoldering summer months of the San Fernando Valley. Now, Sun Valley is where you're gonna find John Francis Polytechnic High School, which counts amongst its impressive alumni list, former mayor Tom Bradley, hot rod pioneer Ed Iskandarian, Philip Ahn, the first Asian American actor to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, as well as Paul Revere Williams, one of the most famed architects in American history. Now also in Sun Valley is the landmark DWP Valley Generation Station smokestacks, which provided power to Valley denizens for generations, but it'll soon be demolished to make way for a cutting edge renewable energy hub that will more accurately reflect the name Sun Valley. Now it's interesting to note that Sun Valley's original name was Roberts, named after a general store, the only business in town. But in the 1890s, the name of the town was actually changed to Roscoe for reasons that are still unknown to this day. Heading west, you're going to get to North Hills, which was previously called Sepulveda and originally called Mission Acres, one of the first developments in the valley after Van Nuys. The most notable landmark in North Hills is the Anheuser-Busch Budweiser factory, right up there on the border of Van Nuys. It was established in 1954 and immediately became one of the largest employers in the area. And from 1966 to 1979, also included a theme park, Bush Gardens, which had boat rides, a monorail, and a bird sanctuary. North Hills is also home to Galpin Motors, which opened in 1946 and has sold more vehicles than any other dealership in Los Angeles history. Wow. Galpin is also home to the Horseless Carriage, the first full-service sit-down diner ever on an auto dealership premises. Now, the newest community in CD6 is Lake Balboa, originally part of Van Nuys, but became its own community in 2007, named after Lake Balboa Park, which features the 27-acre Lake Balboa. The park is robust and fun, which is one of my favorite urban getaways. It has fly fishing, a cascade, paddle boats, picnic pavilions, a Japanese garden, archery range, baseball fields, cricket fields, picnic tables, and a wildlife nature preserve. Lastly, there's North Hollywood, which was established by the Lancashire Ranch Land and Water Company in 1887 and was first named Toluca and subsequently named Lancashire. It was formally named North Hollywood in 1927 and was the Valley's boomtown in the middle of the century, featuring the Valley Plaza, which was the largest shopping center on the west coast of the United States in the 50s and 60s. Today, NoHo and the NoHo Arts District have been completely revitalized and is one of the main transportation hubs in all the San Fernando Valley, as well as some fine restaurants and fun areas to hang out. Today, the entire district is represented by Councilmember Imelda Padilla, who was elected in a 2023 special election and is also a graduate of Poly High, joining their list of distinguished alums. So CD6 with Arlita, Lake Balboa, North Hollywood, North Hills, Van Nuys, Sun Valley, and yes, Panorama City really is the heart of the San Fernando Valley. All right, LA, it's been a minute.